So a lot of people are mad once the game. I know, I know, it's like a daily thing, but what just happened? Like the video if you think X Defiant is not a Call of Duty killer. Dislike the video if you think it's a Call of Duty killer, but I present to you three types of gamers and with the example of gamer number one, guys, clench your butt cheeks, roll but this. If I'm being honest, I think X Defiant is a perfectly good and acceptable game. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with it. And in fact, I would even say it is fun. I had a fun time playing this game over the past weekend. If you didn't know, okay. X Defiant had a server test going on this weekend. Tested servers, netcode, yeah. that kind of thing. That is gamer number one. Gamer number two. Check this. Oh, listen, 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 dude. This X Defiant is back. They got some free access weekend. So if you want to go play it, go play it for like the 20 minutes before you realize it fucking sucks. And you're like, I'm out of here, bitch. Because, dudes. The uh, the original time we played it, which was in June, 10 yeah. months ago. It's been 10 months since these guys were- That is gamer number two. What about gamer number three? Guys, with this one, you want to fasten your seat belts because this, or I should say, these are our Call of Duty athletes. Let me know who's your favorite Call of Duty athlete from this one. You guys can see they are concentrating. Spoiler alert, you definitely do not want to fall into this category. Check this. Get ready for the main event too. Main event after this, okay? Calm, everybody's calm, playing the game, and then... Ladies and gentlemen, these are our Call of Duty. Nothing athletic about them. Okay, let's get down to main event. Why are people upset? You wanna know that, right? You wanna know that? Let's get into it. Like the video and roll this. Check this. Over at Delta, where they at Ubisoft or whatever they're doing here, where Mark Rubin is up in this business trying to, you know, make a great game. And uh, yeah. they made it fucking worse, man. The game <laughs> is... Yeah. Piece of shit. It's man. no good, dudes. I'm telling you, man. Dog, this game, everybody was like, bro, X Define is gonna carry us. It's gonna carry us. And it couldn't even carry us till Call of Duty 2024 teaser trailer. <laughs> what are we doing here? From X Defiant to X Delayed and now to X Dead. To X Dead, bro. Like. It somehow got worse. And I'll tell you what, I think maybe the first time we played it, it sucked just as bad. But here's the thing. I think that Modern Warfare 2 2022 was so bad at June, and we are so tired of the Call of Duties, and that game sucked such a big one that X Defiant was just some reprieve, some oasis, <laughs> some escape from the hellscape oh, no. that Modern Warfare 2 2022 uh, to, uh, to just a lot of twos there, two to two pizza, yeah. and it was just, you know, something different. And now we're playing this Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which is you guys, You guys think that people actually loved X Defined when it first came out because, like, Modern Warfare 2022 was bad? Or do you think that people were just like, hey man, I don't want to buy the frilly? Or do you think it was because of the BBC bundle? Or do you think that Modern Warfare 2 just genuinely sucked ass? And you know what, X Defined was good. Or do you think like, X Defined, or, or people were just like, yeah, X Defined is like, I don't know, because back then, like, people loved it, and now universally, the game is being hated right now. I don't know what's going on, bro. Well, I bear the model for 2.22, which is like saying getting kicked in the left nuts, bear than getting punched in the face. I get it, but this game has come out now. I don't know Who if that's that? the case of what happened that was just uh, something different back then, and that's how bad, you know, Call of Duty is, uh, or it just, they made it worse, because I literally... <sighs> Played this game for 30 minutes to an hour, and every minute I played it, it was unenjoyable. It sucked. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna point something. I want to say something to all you guys out okay. there who think that because Cubic Max making is ruining Call of Duty. There's no yeah, Cubic oh, Max making an extra fight. You guys know like what sucks so bad about this is because they did say that we're gonna have no skill based matchmaking we're gonna have no skill based matchmaking this game needed to succeed it needed it needed to succeed bro this game was our last hope it had no skill based matchmaking okay quote unquote new maps as well which uh people are people are not necessarily liking some of them are good some of them are like Bruh. Bruh ish right but like damn bro like they were like no skill based matchmaking and now it's like everybody's hating it obviously not because it has skill based matchmaking or no skill based matchmaking the game is just not hitting people in the g spot quite frankly okay and people want to be hit in the g spot let me let me tell you that bro let me tell you it's a universal fact 
people wanna fire dopamine, and right now people are not firing dopamine. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna it's gonna make extra fight awesome. And I'm telling you what, man, there's as many sweat sadly, ass sadly. TTV, TikTok, and Gen Z millennial bitch ass us out there jumping around course jumping around that corner jumping around here jump shot slide jump shot and playing like as if their whole life depended on it and they were playing for a true, million dollar true, prize true. in a public lobby against a bunch of mongoloids like yours truly that goes to vader and just <laughs> out there trying to play the game see what's going on and these dudes are out there running around like as if they're mainlining yeah, Adderall and yeah like the yeah, like, like homies love tick tick ticks as well. Like their name was Face Swag with the TTV, and everybody's playing like their life depends on it. Guys, why? Why y'all suckers wanna play this game like your life depends on it, man? Why y'all do this, bro? Can a brother, <clears throat> can a brother perhaps not see everybody playing like their life depends on? <laughs> depends on it. I mean, what the hell is going on? At this point, guys, it's Joe over. It's Chalk, bro. It's over. Fineto, Dunzo, okay? Because. There isn't any game that is coming out that can compete with Call of Duty. I'm sorry. I know some of you are going to be saying, like, Skizzle of the Finals. I mean, the Finals is good, but, like, the Finals has its own category. And the last time I checked, people were, like, you know, coming out of that game as well. People are dropping that game hard, and uh, a lot of people are like, well, the game got no content, which is true. But other than that, it had, like, good fundamentals, but still, it cannot compete with Call of Duty. X Define, uh, Sekizar like now saying X Dead. Kind of sad, Bruh. actually. Uh, the next Battlefield game ain't coming out till uh, 2025, probably by the end of it. And by the time it comes out, we're going to probably have GTA 6 at that point, so nobody's going to care about it. This year, we're getting Treyarch's uh, Call of Duty 2024, and I guess uh, I'm sorry, I'm sad. Uh, not necessarily sad, but like I'm sad by the fact that there is... The, the FPS scene is chalk, bro. Call of Duty, obviously, it's no, no, no longer the same, but like... It's the best FPS game right now. I, I, I'm sorry, but but like Call of Duty is bad right now. It's like the McDonald's. We all know it's bad, but it's like good. It tastes good, but it's bad for health, right? So Call of Duty is the only good, decent FPS game out there. Other than that, what we got? Me, okay, yeah, maybe Battlefield 2042. But Sega's will hate that too, so there is that. There is nothing like Call of Duty right now. It's up to Call of Duty 2024 to save the FPS scene, but e even if it flops, it's like, dog, who cares? Because there isn't like any other <laughs> FPS game. Just whacked out of their mind, bro. Agree, Just disagree. Way too serious. So if you think skill based matchmaking is an issue, I'm going to tell you what, I knew this before. I don't know if you guys know this. Here, listen here. Okay. Come here. Bring it in, all right? I want to let you guys know something. Anyone out here who knows me knows that I'm the fucking truth, man. I keeps it real. I packs that steel. I'm balls deep, but only halfway in. I am that guy. The facts I'm going to tell you is I've been saying skill-based matchmaking is not the problem with Call of Duty. The community who plays first-person shooter online multiplayers are a bunch of reprobate, insufferable, smoke alarm beeping, no battery changing, fatherless type behavior, sons of bitches, okay? First of all, skill-based matchmaking has no place in online gaming, okay? Second of all, it has no place in online gaming. That's what I'm gonna tell you, and the skill-based matchmaking is not the problem. The people who play the game are the problem, and the fact that- But, uh, also on the other point, the point that he's making, I get it. Skill-based matchmaking shouldn't be in online gaming, period, okay? But, skill-based matchmaking, or no skill-based matchmaking is not end-all be-all. You need good content, you need original content, you need fun gameplay! You need fun gameplay. When you got all of that and you got no skill based matchmaking, that's a recipe of a banger, okay? But if the game sucks, that's it. It's over. It's over. Whether you have skill based matchmaking or no skill based matchmaking, Suck is gonna hate it. Suck is gonna hate it, though. And that's kind of like what we're seeing happen with uh, X uh, Dead or more like X Defined. Uh, what is this game we're playing here? X to shit doesn't have any skill based <laughs> matchmaking y'all think oh it's be so much fun no it's not you're gonna see it and it prove my point i said i was gonna prove the point i said that you'll see skill based matchmaking is not the problem there's no skill based matchmaking x defined and it's still gonna be sweaty as hell and guess what boom it's sweatier than my balls after i finished deep dicking broad dicking balls do have way on your mom your sister and your dad because i'm hey, able to tune this 2022 20, 24 hey, 23 hey, we're hey, all sexual balls deep only halfway whoa, in but let whoa. me just get it down here let me just actually hit some real reasons why i hate this game first of all it whoa. plays horrible it feels like you're floating around and the actual movement is just it's giving me i'm literally literally getting motion sickness up in this man it's just so like it feels horrible it feels like you're on the ground like you're on skates which a lot of you movement gods 
also love how the big god he puts up right this lantern and it feels also and just plays and looks like a mobile game shit it's a poor man's Man. call of duty and that makes no sense because why 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 we gotta suffer like this bro activision must be looking at this and laughing why don't i just go play call of duty if it's a poor man's call of duty call of duty already kind of sucks as is now it's like a lesser version of call of duty so might as well just go play call of duty instead of like the kicked in the head redheaded stepchild with happily maybe has a mental health problem mental delusions mental the retardation called x to find like why would i play that no i'll just go over here and play with your cousin and do a deep dick style there's no kill streaks at all let's just talk about that there's no Man. kill streaks it's trying to be like an objective based Man. call of duty like who just wants to play an objective based call of duty with a bunch of sweats and no kill streaks and just weapons that are exactly the same as previous call of duty yeah. that plays less looks like and sounds like a mobile game with a bunch of sweat ass wannabes out there playing like their life depend on it does that sound like fun to you yeah me go to school and go call of duty suck extra fun save and i'm gonna play it to be the best first person shooter <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sad to say, but that, uh, Call of Duty is the only FPS game that's gonna save Call of Duty, guys, or the FPS scene rather. It's it's Fenato, guys. The Call of Duty killer. It's Joe, man. How about you stop an extra fight and go play in traffic, you fucking idiots? Okay, idiots, because I ain't ever gonna stop. Hating on this extra. I, I I wonder like what the homie blame truth gotta say. I, I think the homie blame truth. Now listen, no ill will towards anybody, right? It's all banter, it's all jokes. I guess it, most of you understand that, but for two people that don't understand it, uh, just gotta come out clean and say it's like banter. Call of Duty is Joe over, but still, it's like the only game out there. So technically, it's not Joe. Over, if you catch my drift here, but but the thing is that like I, I wonder what Blame Truth's gonna do. Like, is he gonna keep on hating on Call of Duty? Is he gonna stop? Uh, or uh, because there's nothing else coming out right now, bro. Call of Duty is the only game in, in the entire FPS market that's big, that's decent, that's better than all the rest. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm equally sad as you right now to say this, but like, guys, like, that's the honest goddamn truth right now. In terms of FPS games, I'm not talking about all the games, just the FPS games. Sadly, Call of Duty is the only decent game. Because there's no other competition! You feel what I'm saying? It sucks, but like, there aren't any game out there that are equally uh, good. I think you're catching the drift I'm trying to pull down, push yeah, I down, catch and throw it out to you guys there in the ethers of YouTube. And God bless you for watching this video. If you're new here, yeah. make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. L right like now. and subscribe, like and subscribe. And recently this happened though. Yay! I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not. The homie blamed Truth actually <laughs> went crazy on oh, Call of Duty 2024 leaks. Well, because we ended up getting Call of Duty 2024 leaks, right? And he says it looks terrible. Check out this video on the screen. On the left, this video is on my second channel guys second channel yay check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there